In the world of big data, one topic is on everybody's minds, Apache Iceberg. But Iceberg isn't just another data technology. It represents a clear break from the past, ushering in a new data paradigm and pushing aside older technologies and modern competitors alike. Part of this is due to the fact that Iceberg doesn't disrupt just one technology, but many. You can think of this as two revolutions rolled into one. At Starburst, we call this new paradigm Ice House, an open data lake house built on Iceberg, queried with Trino, and designed for openness from the ground up. Intrigued? Let's take a look. Revolution number one, data lake houses replace data lakes. The first revolution is a movement from the traditional data lake built around Apache Hive to the data lake house using a modern table format. What's the difference? Both data lakes and data lake houses are built on cloud object storage, systems like AWS S3, Azure Blob Storage, or Google Cloud Storage. But that's where the similarities end. Data lakes are defined by their use of Hive. In fact, the division between Hive and more modern technologies serves as the dividing line between a data lake and a data lake house, with data lake houses using one of three modern table formats, Delta Lake, Hootie, and Iceberg. These table formats collect metadata that tracks changes made to the state of a data set. This allows for a more complete picture of the data to be drawn. More than that, the approach allows features to be developed that take advantage of this metadata to understand changes in the data set. In this sense, the data lakehouse adds one critical element to the data analytics landscape, time. With an improved understanding of how data changes over time, many workloads that involve rapid updates, like transactional data, become possible on cloud object storage for the first time. This is a stark departure from Hive, where updates and changes to the data set often required that the data be rewritten, lowering performance and making Hive data lakes unsuitable for many applications that involve rapid changes. The shift has big implications for big data in general. Specifically, it marks a pivot away from a world where data engineers were forced to choose between the superior features of a data warehouse and the superior costs and flexibility of a data lake. Instead, a new hybrid technology is created, the data lake house, with three players in this modern table format space. So far, so good, and the story seems like it could end there, with Delta Lake, Hootie, and Iceberg on an equal footing. But Iceberg's use of data lake house technology is different, so different that it serves as an entirely new generation of data lake houses, apart from Delta Lake and Hootie. How? Time for the second revolution. Revolution number two, the ice house. The second revolution is all about openness. And in this, Iceberg is a world apart from its competitors, Delta Lake and Hootie. Let's unpack why this is the case. Delta Lake is deeply tied to the Databricks ecosystem, and although nominally open source now, it began its life as a proprietary technology. This means development of the table format is always guided first and foremost by one company, one set of technology, and one set of optimizations. Starburst integrates with Delta Lake and does so in a performative manner, but not every system does. So although Delta Lake achieves a lot, a proprietary approach runs through its technological DNA. This makes it far less suitable as a broad-based technology leading the charge into the future for the entire industry. It presents a narrower victory, not an industry-wide one. Hootie is another contender. Hootie was designed for high-concurrency transactional data lakehouses and has established uses in that subdomain. However, it remains focused primarily in this area, and there has not been the same widespread adoption of Hootie as an emerging default as there has been of Iceberg. Again, a lack of openness hinders adoption of Hootie as the de facto default table format for the modern open data lakehouse era. Finally, Iceberg. Iceberg is different in almost every regard. Since its inception at Netflix, it was designed to be open from the very beginning, not used on one system, but many. And that adoption is seen across the industry in a host of different systems and a host of different use cases. Interestingly, although it was designed to work on any system, the technology it was designed to work with most closely was Trino, the open source query engine used by both Starburst Galaxy and Starburst Enterprise. So while Iceberg gains across the industry, its technological DNA ties it to Trino. It's this pairing, Iceberg plus Trino, that Starburst calls the Ice House, a new data lake house predicated on openness and designed to take advantage of the tremendous power and scalability that Trino affords. This is the data Ice House revolution, a radical departure from Hive, Delta Lake, and Hootie. This approach takes all of the advantages of other data lakehouse technologies and improves on them. 
incorporating openness and a dynamic open source technology at its core. IceHouse brings together the very best in class in both storage and compute and brings a truly open data lake house to the forefront for the first time in a platform that allows data to be stored in the cloud, on-prem, or through a hybrid combination of both. It lets users taper workloads from older technologies to the IceHouse. This offers a truly revolutionary paradigm shift, one where users have all of the advantages and none of the drawbacks. Are you ready to join the Icehouse revolution?